each week on the robot party, we all get together and share our robots and everything. There's also the Robot Party Google Plus Hangout extension, which allows people in the Hangout and viewers as well to control a robot that's moving around on my desk. It's a lot of fun to play around with, and you can even make it do some uh, funny tricks sometimes, like standing on its uh, treads like that. There's also an example running with my Robo birds, so you can feed them and they start to go all hyper. Today, I'll show you how it's made and how we can make a simple version of this to just turn on and off an LED. The overview of how this works is that there are four main components to this, which are the web app, which is running basically everything, the Google Plus Hangout, which is displaying the web app, a processing sketch, which is communicating back and forth with the web app, and also the Arduino, which is listening to the processing sketch. For the web app, it's basically just a Node.js app running on an EC2 instance, and it's running server.js, which has uh, TCP sockets as well as web sockets. The web sockets are communicating out to all of the open windows of the web app, so they have client.js inside of them, basically. And through the web sockets is how each client is able to see what button has been pressed by a different person, and it's also able to communicate back to the TCP socket, which from there, uh, processing is listening to it and then it can tell the Arduino what to do. As for the Google+, Plus, it's actually just another browser of the web app that's open, and that's how it's able to uh, run it. For processing and Arduino, it's really straightforward. So processing is listening to a TCP socket for all of the data that's coming in, and then with that data, it's sending it off to the Arduino, where it's checking uh, for the basic values, like if it's a 1, then turn on the LED. If it's a 0, turn off the LED. Also, the processing sketch is checking the connection with the socket every 5 seconds to make sure that it hasn't closed accidentally or that it's not down. And then for the last part, which is the Google Plus Hangout extension, whenever you join in a Hangout, then you're able to add in this app as a Hangout extension, and it will appear on the sidebar right here. And how that works is that it's basically just a Hangout.xml. Inside of there is just an iframe pointing to our web app, which is how you're able to see the on and off buttons. And then through the webcam, if it's pointing at your Arduino, you'll be able to see the LED turn on and off when you press those buttons. So how we actually implement this in code and getting our EC2 instance all set up is a bit more in-depth than uh, everything mentioned before, so I'm going to post up another video that goes through all of this in detail. So I hope you'll be able to check it out and get your own Arduino running with a Google Plus Hangout, because that'd be so cool! <laughs> If you have any questions about this, or how, if you're stuck or whatever, just let me know and I'll try my best to answer them. And I'm totally inviting you to the robot party if you have your own Google Plus Hangout extension working with your robots or Arduinos, because that's just awesome. So hope to see you there. Woot!